Hi, I'm Greg Gregory, pastor of <coughs> Spring Hill Presbyterian Church in uh, outside Lukama. Uh, and um, we worship tomorrow morning at 9.30. Um, in uh, it's drive up, you stay in the car, let the um, air conditioning keep blowing, and you hear, listen to the service on 87.9 Narrowcast Radio. Uh, I've got some good folks in the in the in the congregation who have figured out how to make all that work and so ordinarily all I have to do is stand up there and say what I have to say. This Sunday though I won't be saying standing up there saying what I have to say. Um, um, because because I won't be there. I um I had planned to be uh, away from from the church this Sunday to be up in Roanoke to celebrate uh, my brother-in-law's 80th birthday, uh, but as I thought about it and thought about it, uh, I thought um, I don't need to go up and be with a whole new group of people to bring home um, the exposure to that group of people. Uh, to give Bobby, my wife and me, uh, something more to, to to resist. I know that sounds, uh, it does sound cowardly, but it's not. It's, it's sensible. Um, and so I just made the decision not to go. Uh, I did, I did uh, talk with my sister and um, I was able to send up few comments about my brother-in-law who was a fine, who is a fine man, uh, and uh, I can tell you that one of the things that I said about my brother-in-law Sam Lionberger was that he was the best governor that the Commonwealth of Virginia never had. He was a good building contractor and, uh, and uh, Lutheran uh, leader, uh, lay leader. Uh, and uh, that's all the all the effort he needed to, to to put out for the for the for his service to his to his God and to his country. Um, I did so I won't be there tomorrow. Joe Ward will be preaching, and um, Bobby said, "Well, why don't you just tell him that you're going to not be there tomorrow, and and come on down and." And don't give him anything. I said, well, all right, okay. That's. I thought about that, and then I looked at at the um, the Psalter, and um, it's Psalm 105, 119, verses 105 to 112. Is uh, are the uh, are the verses for for this particular uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, this particular week? So uh, I thought I'd read them to you, and then. Uh, I say some things, uh, whatever I have to say after that. Uh, listen carefully. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to observe your righteous ordinances. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your decrees are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. The joy of my heart. Would you, can you see yourself describing the ordinances of God as the joy of your heart, well, the psalmist could, because he understood that the word of God had had been laid into his into his mind, his soul, and his will, into his heart, were were a gift from God, just as everything we experience is a gift from God, and so. He le cherishes the word of the Lord and cherishes it in his heart. Now, uh, note that it starts out, the first one is, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so, 
is something the law is something that keeps him going tells him how to go it's something reliable and uh, he, uh, he, he he concludes by saying um, that your decrees are my heritage forever they are the joy of my heart I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end the joy of his heart in the Hebrew language I remember memorizing that first flashcard bunch of words and one of the first was lave and the definition of lave means heart mind will heart mind will now we we uh, we think of heart uh, either as a, 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 a bodily organ that pumps our blood and we think about it all medically and scientifically or we think about our the heart in uh, a much more emotional and and um, romantic way where we think about I have my heart set uh, on on uh, on having this I, I'm, I'm yearning for it and and I, I must feel I must have it but uh, in the in the Hebrew sense of the word heart the the heart was the seat of the will not the feelings but the will and so the psalmist was recognizing that the that the psalmist that the that the light of the law was a joy to his will that the psalmist would would keep the Lord's uh, ordinances and and, and 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 injunctions because they were a gift to him and it's it's so important I think that to see that this very very last uh, verse it says uh, very last two verse, verses it says your decrees are my heritage forever they are the joy of my heart the joy of my heart I incline my heart to do wisdom and to perform your statutes forever to the end well I'm going to go back on vacation now but I want you just to have in your mind and take with you from this few minutes the, 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 the witness of the psalmist who sees the law of the, of, the, of the Lord as a gift, a joy, and a strong resource for living a life that makes us smile as we walk our path with Jesus Christ. I look forward to seeing you all to next, next Sunday, if not before. And may God bless you. Let us pray. Gracious God in heaven, your word is a lamp unto our feet. And so let our feet see that lamp and see your loving presence in your law that we may see Christ Jesus as the one who makes clear how your law can truly be your gift to us so that we may have the law as the joy of our heart and do the will of your your will from heart outward in Jesus name amen God bless you as you worship together tomorrow and I will see you next Sunday <laughs>